Now, I've said it on many occasions on this channel that, uh, well, golf tech is pretty much maxed out right now. But there are minimal gains still to be made in certain areas, and the wedge game is definitely one of them. And perhaps a critical move that Callaway have made to make the scoring element of the game a little bit more interesting. Yeah, the first interesting thing that uh, Callaway have done in terms of these uh, these new Jaws wedges is they're all out raw face. And what that basically means is the grooves are not coated. So once they're cut, once they're milled, there is no additional layer of coating put on the top. So essentially they remain as sharp as they can be within the rules, of course, to retain as much control and spin as possible and it's interesting because so many of the manufacturers have now gone with this raw finish and that's the same case with jaws what's also interesting is uh, i managed to find the middle of the fairway with uh, a new swing that i am working on right now so uh, bear with me it's just coming in it's a little bit left but reasonable strike clearly we've got a bit to work on so with the raw finish not being a new thing then uh, well the question is what is what makes these clubs so interesting and uh, I'll explain that very shortly but partly is in this club that I'm holding right now spin that's not bad Callaway's wedge lineup is extensive as ever running I think from 48 right the way to 62 plenty of options in there but the options are the grinds the bottom of the sole is where it gets really interesting and they've got some standard stuff in there but they've also introduced some new grinds one in particular that i find really really interesting and i reckon you will too but first of all we're in pretty much a standard grind here 56 wedge there's a bit of a difference to the leading edge which i will show you very very shortly now grab Oh, that leading edge I referred to is on the S grind, which is pretty much the standard grind. But what really interests me is I've got a 52 and a 56 for, uh, for this test purposes. And they're both S grind, but the difference is that leading edge on the 56, which I find really, really interesting and appears on the number of the wedges. And if you look very closely, it's very much a, uh, there's some relief given as a chamfered leading edge. And what that does for me is it sits really tight to the turf, which I really like. And in the chip shop that we've just played on that very, very tight lie on the fairway, you're just looking to nip it off the top. It just breeds that extra little bit of confidence. And for me, short game is all about that one thing. It's about confidence. So whilst it mightn't even have any great impact on my ability to clip it off the top in my head, I'm thinking I'm sat so tight to it, so neat to it, that it's just gonna clip it and pick it up so cleanly. So what is new? Well, the interesting development is the fact that Callaway have added tungsten weight into their wedges for the very first time. What, them allow, what that allows them to do is very much control the placement of that CG, and it's very much center in the club face on these things. It also improves forgiveness and enhances the feel as well. So it's a real interesting move and something that I'll talk about later on when we hit a few more shots because it is a very noticeable change to the feel in particular, uh, in my opinion. Right, I'm gonna carry on it in a few shots while I uh, try out my new swing. Well, the good news is it's straight, a little bit off the bottom, but clearly I've got room to work there. And you can see the first thing I'm trying to work on is my takeaway being less flat and inside. But back to the Callaway wedges. That's online, but a little bit short, I think. Well, that's not too bad. Everything's going straight so far, which is what we're trying to work on. But what about these wedges? Well, I said about the tungsten weighting, what effect it had. I don't know, I can't measure in terms of uh, forgiveness and CG placements out here, but what I can tell you is in the shots that I've hit, particularly the full shots, is there a much better feel than I've had from Jaws lying up before in terms of Callaway wedges. So that for me, they've got essentially a much more solid feel to the club. And when it comes off that club face, it just feels like a solid, pure, milled, forged type of wedge, if you like. Really good soft feel, but really solid is the build quality that I would suggest. And like I said, apart from that, 
What I'd like to next talk about is just how good these things look. Now these clubs look incredible. As a group of wedges in your bag, well, they look quite stunning. They're available in chrome and uh, this black option, which I've got, and uh, quite honestly, I think the black looks uh, stunning. There'll always be that debate about what happens in terms of uh, the coating on a black finish club and uh, well we will uh, i can't give you the answer to that one but uh, in terms of in the bag oh my word how good do they look but let's talk about those uh, grinds and uh, what are the differences between the three options that they give you so as i said three grind options uh, w s and x grinds and um, i'm not going to try and relay all the uh, different uh, lofts and grind availabilities, but hopefully Hannah's put them on screen for you now. What I will talk about is visually what I can see in terms of the difference between the S grind and the Z, Z grind, however you want to pronounce that. And it's very, very noticeable. The first thing I mentioned earlier was that if you take a close up look between the 56 and the 52, both in S grind, you'll see the bit that uh, interests me and it's that um, extra bit of chamfering from the leading edge on the 56, as opposed to the sort of flat uh, lie, if you like, that is on the 52. And for me, I would have liked to have seen that on the 52. Like I said, there'll be some, um, and many of you will already know the reasoning behind that. Unfortunately, I'm not educated enough to relay that info. But all round the chamfering on the 56 in terms of the relief from the heel and for the toe just make it a lot more versatile club. And I suppose that is um, maybe that's one of the main differences. A 52 is uh, a totally different, or you're trying to play execute very different shots with a 52 than you would be with the higher lofted 56. But for me, the relief that's in and around the 56, and I don't know what happens with the 54 wedge, I would like to see that, but for me, that's a much more interesting club to have in the bag because of the versatility that it offers but then i'm going to put those two down for a minute and just have a look at this 60 degree with the z grind z grind however you want to pronounce that eight degrees of bounce but the real interesting bit is again just how much relief and how much chamfering in and around both that heel around the hosel um, around that front leading edge it really looks as though it's been on some kind of grinder and someone's had a real good play with this thing to, uh, to give you maximum versatility. So the amount of shots that you can play with this and how you want, uh, you can lean the club forward a little bit, you can open that club face up quite considerably and all the time the club doesn't look too different at address. So what it just gives you is lots of versatility but ultimately lots of confidence because you're looking down at something that sits really, really nice at address irrelevant of how or what type of shot you're trying to play. So for me, the interesting bit that they've introduced is this new Z grind. It is so, so uh, versatile that I would without doubt out of the range, whilst many of the things are similar of what we've seen before, this is something that is so, so different and uh, I'm a massive, massive fan of. So the big question is, why did Callaway do this? And uh, what I don't understand is uh, that leading edge conundrum. It is so effective on the 56 and 60 that I have in hand that I really just do not get why they didn't add that to every grind option throughout the bag. The interesting thing for me is, uh, I'm perhaps stating the obvious, is that the grab on this is really, really sharp indeed. You see on that sort of second bounce, the ball really seems to uh, to grab and you can almost feel it again coming off the club face. But it's hard to be sort of, uh, these are brand new wedges, never been hit before. So if they ain't going to perform now, they're never going to perform. But the interesting thing would have been, you know, just how much difference that would be in sort of six months from now. But right now, the uh, the wedges I'm currently playing do not feel like they're getting the same grab as what I'm getting with these uh, these brand new wedges straight out the box. Right, so we've gone 56 in low, we're now going 60 up high. That's a much more difficult shot to play and why it's not the right choice, but you can see how easy it is to pop that ball up. The problem you've got with that type of shot, and we've demonstrated many times before on this channel, is that is a high risk strategy. And when you've got nothing between you and the flag, keep that ball as low as possible because gaining uh, distance, flying all the way, is, uh, requires a hell of a lot of skill and clearly one that I don't possess. Yeah, I've got to say, uh, I don't always feature wedges on a review because I find them difficult reviews to do. And like I said, very much of what I'm going to say today is very uh, personable. 
But I'm super impressed with the way these things play. Uh, 260 degree wedges, you're gonna watch me play now, which is one out of the bunker. Again, open the face up on this, even though we've got 60 degrees on it, and uh, it's just so nice and easy to play out that bunker. And then we took a ball back behind the bunker and looked to play that real high flop shot that comes down dead and stops. And yet again, open the face up and uh, it just clips the ball so cleanly. Super impressed, but in particular, this 60 model and this uh, Z grind is the one that stands out for me. Oh, I'm loving this thing, you know. Just spin, sit and spin. Oh, do you know what? The control is so good. I've only, to be honest with you, played full shots with the 52 wedge, but again, the ability to sort of change the ball flight has been really, really good. You can either pop it up there from the front foot or with that one just a little bit backward in the stance. It zips in, takes one stop and grabs. And like I said, the, uh, the spin control over the grooves has been really, really notable. But like I said, they are brand new wedges. But then the control of distance with the wedges has been really, really good as well. And uh, like I said, the versatility of each type of shot we've played so far this morning has meant that these are a really, really impressive set of wedges. I don't know the RRP, but no doubt Hannah will throw that on the screen for you now. And uh, I guess they'll be expensive because everything is right now. But what I will say is Callaway have produced a real interesting set of wedges with so many options that you should be able to find one that suits your game. Anyway, I'm done. Early morning start here. We move on to the next one at Carden Park. Hope you've enjoyed this. Give me your feedback and your thoughts on the Callaway Jaws Raw wedges. And I'll see you all soon.